and ham in your refrigerator after Thanksgiving. How about something different this morning? Jeff Martinez is here from Fonda San Miguel, one of our favorite, and he's making panuchos this morning. Yeah, Thank you for right. being here. Thank you. Tell us what a panucho is. Well, a panucho is, I guess, uh, in short, Yucatan's uh, answer to the, the chalupa, I guess. You oh, know? yeah, like, uh, of course. It's a little bit different. The only difference is, is that it's got... Uh, the beans inside, like you would take your tortilla and you throw it on a, a grill, you know, a grill of comal, and you'd cook it up like you would ordinarily. And when it cooks, the steam causes it to blow up like a little bubble like this. Oh, and you take your you... knife and you just split this in half like this and kind of make a little pocket in it. And put the beans inside. And you put some of your beans inside like this. How clever is that? And you mash them all around like this and spread them so that it pretty much covers all the bottom of the tortilla like yeah. so. And then you throw them in some hot oil. <laughs> Unfortunately, I forgot my gas today. <laughs> We're going to pretend. Out of gas. We're gonna everyone pretend Shh. like it's hot. Right. Uh, oh, yeah. sound effects. We love it. <laughs> and so you fry it up like this until it gets uh, uh, crispy and pull it out. Just happen to have one here that I fried earlier at the restaurant. That's a good thing. And just kind of <laughs> soak it. <laughs> Let the uh, napkin soak up some of the uh, oil. And then uh, it's pretty much ready to go. And you can top it with whatever you like. You can, we have some uh, stewed chicken here today. And I'm going to throw some of this right on top. I guess you could even do it with some of the leftover turkey, leftover huh? Leftover turkey. When yeah. you were saying that, I was thinking you could even use some of your leftover turkey. And uh, some of the traditional toppings would be some uh, shredded cabbage, some of this uh, cotija cheese. It's almost like a, uh, uh, like a Parmesan cheese. Yeah. And some tomatoes. And any of these ingredients you can get at the regular grocery store, Oh, right? definitely, yeah. yeah. These you grow in your garden. These are from the Fonda Garden, it's yeah. Beautiful. These are uh, some jalapeno peppers that we roasted in the, uh, in the um, kitchen. And then these are usually served traditionally with some kind of a habanero salsa, because that's what they use a lot down there is the habanero chili. Right. So this is what we have here. It's a little habanero salsa. And that's a uh, nice little afternoon snack, something to watch or eat while you're watching football. Of course. Like that, you know? it's, it's so it's, quick. It's, I love it. It's great. Yeah, it's quick and easy, you know, and today we're, uh, for brunch, we also have some uh, ham, some Iberico ham that we're serving for uh, brunch today. It's this really nice Spanish ham. Ooh, that sounds good. Yeah, it's really great. You just came back from a food discovery trip. Tell yes, me about we did. That. We were down in uh, the Yucatan Peninsula, and we were eating all these different kinds of food, like these panuchos. We were eating salbutes, papazules, and we're doing them um, all... Um, for the next couple of months, we'll be having different kinds of uh, specials from the Yucatan that we uh, ate while we were down there. Ooh. So we're bringing them back to Texas. A little bit more interior, you know, than your usual Tex-Mex. Yeah. Us, like really getting down into yeah, deep the Mexican real, food. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to visit Fonda San Miguel, give us uh, your location. There it is right there. Oh, I love when things happen when I, when I talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> There's the location, 2330 West North Loop Boulevard. And there is their website, FondaSanMiguel.com. I'm going to try this. This looks really good. Rhonda's here to talk to you about what it's feeling like outside yes. while I take a bit of this. Wow, this is kind is of Is this a how you eat it? Yeah. Sure. Just pick Just it up like, like that? that? Yeah. Okay. What a sad little oil thing you have going here, man. No. I know. Watch out. Don't bring yourself. <laughs> well, uh, out. <laughs> if you are headed outside, you're going to expect a high of 66 degrees today. Tomorrow, a small chance of rain. I'm not holding out a lot of hope, but there is that off chance. Tuesday into Wednesday, the rain wraps up. A high of 62 for Tuesday, 65 for Wednesday. And we actually get to above normal Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Pretty good week shaping up. So uh, I say head outside and enjoy uh, something that it looks like a chalupa, but you got to cook it. Panucho. Panucho. you got to cook it yourself. <laughs> We're going to give you a hard time. Also <laughs> coming up, tensions are running high between North and South Korea, and the U.S. joins in on some high-stakes military maneuvers. We'll talk about that. Also coming up, how you can help Austin's homeless today. 927 is your time. We'll be right back. I was living in the streets pregnant, strung out on drugs, and I wanted to give my child more. I didn't know what I was going to do or how I was going to do it, but I was just looking for a way out. It's hope. It's giving somebody a chance when they didn't have any options. Without them, I wouldn't be standing on my two feet today. I'm blessed for everything that they've done. I'm absolutely blessed. Your holiday donations to the Salvation Army help us make change all year long. This time and temperature update is sponsored by Frost. Banking, investments, insurance. It only happens once a year, and it's only happening until the end of November. The stores in the Furniture Row Shopping Center are having their biggest sale of the year. Every item of furniture is on sale, with savings up to 70%. Get great sale prices plus no interest until 2013 with no money down. Don't miss the Furniture Row Shopping Center's biggest sale of the year.